welcome, welcome to Looks Like Destiny. Today, you will be informed, enlightened. You'll have a good time. Oh, I'm wait until you hear my musical guest. Today, we have so much to talk about. I see you out there in the Middle East. I see you in America. I see you all across the world. And I say welcome to my studio of Looks Like Destiny. <laughs> Why, why, why? Why is it that we say it looks like destiny? Because when Christ is in your life, there's something about your purpose that meets your destiny. There's something that's going to happen in your life that's great when purpose reaches destiny. And the thing is that God has a destiny for each and every one of us. God has something for your life that's so great. He's just waiting for you to say, come on and take it. He's just saying, come on and you can reach it. You can do all things through who? Christ Jesus. And on today, I am just so excited to be able to come into your homes. I'm so excited. We're back with another season. Woo! <laughs> We're back with another season. And this season is more fun filled than the last season. This season is more encouraging than the last season. And this season is your season, right? <laughs> Yeah, come on, y'all know that this season, you've got to claim it. You've got to claim that this season that God has placed just for you is for you. So right, you at home, just touch yourself and say, this is my season. This is my season. And it looks like what? Destiny. <laughs> it looks like destiny. So on today, I have something really, really special for you. I have a special guest. And before I talk about the special guest, his, he brought his wife here this morning, and she is a major recording artist. She is just unbelievable. But the thing that I like most about her is as sweet as she sings, her spirit is as sweet. So before we talk to my hmm, special guest, <laughs> which I think I already gave that away, I'm going to let you have the opportunity to hear his production. Oh, I didn't say that, but his production of his wife, Lynn... Lynn, I call her Lynn, but she's going to tell you her full name, her artist name, Lynn Vive. Lynn Vive. I call her Lynn. This is Lynn. Come on, Lynn. God is truly worthy to be praised. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do we have any overcomers in the building today? Woo! Hallelujah. Can you just point to yourself and say, I am an overcomer? I am an overcomer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm ready. We're ready Amen. for the music. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just clap. Our snap. Fire burning me for the pure and I will see you, Lord. 
walked by this fire so many times, but now I'm coming in, coming in. Hallelujah. I've walked by this fire so many times, but now I'm, I'm right here, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So purify us today, God. fire burning me for the pure and I will see you Lord let your fire burn in me for the pure and I will see you Lord so you overcome Let your fire burn in me for the pure and I will see you, Lord. Jesus, let your fire burn in me for the pure and I will see you, Lord. So baptize us in your Holy Spirit, God. And baptize us in your fire, Jesus. Until we are all cleaned up, all made over, all renewed, all restored in the name. Jesus, make us over until we look like you, Jesus. How we need you, how we need you. Hallelujah. Say, baptize us. Baptize Hallelujah. Holy Spirit. Rise up and say, baptize us, Jesus. Rise up and say, baptize us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Baptize Make me new, God. Make me over, God. Make me over, God. Make me over, God. Make me new, God. Make me over, God. Restore and make whole, God. Baptize me, God. Baptize me, God. Baptize me now, God. Make me over, God. Make me new, God. Jesus, 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 and the people tried to quiet them and say, be quiet, be quiet, but they cried out all the more, and because they cried out all the more, Jesus turned, and he looked, and he said, what is it that you want? And they said, God, I want my son, Jesus, I want my son, and he said, immediately, immediately, he gave them their sight, and he said, in your Holy Spirit so we can follow you and do your will, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because I want to burn for you, Lord. I want to burn. You say, I want to
bless you. Amen. Come on, yes, this is out of the net. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I just felt the presence of the Lord in this place. And we could have just began to worship for another five hours. <laughs> Amen. But because we are live, we only have a certain amount of time. But you at home, just ask him to come into your life and he will. Just say, Lord, I want to burn with that fire. Baptize me with your Holy Spirit. Wow, we have to, we're going to hear from her again before this show is over. And oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. So now I have her other half here. And He's so amazing. I had the opportunity to work with him several times, and I, I don't think I quite met a, a, a producer who is as quiet, yet as fun and talented and current as this man, my guest. I welcome to the show Eric King. Come on, give him a hand. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Eric, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy that you're here with us. And because we have a limited amount of time, there's so much to talk about. But first, I want you to tell my listeners, well, first of all, Eric has, he has produced so many artists in the music industry. And he's just, as well as his wife, he's a singer as well, but he's not going to sing for us. So we don't get that today. But Eric, tell us how you got started with music production. What, what took you to that place of, uh, of saying, I think I want to produce rather than be in front of the camera? Well, um, and talk I've, always been, I've always been uh, very reserved, you mm -hmm. know, calm. <laughs> you know, the calm one amongst the, Oh, you don't have the bubbly you know, like me, so you're the calm one. Exactly. Okay, okay. You know, I mean, I have my moments. Okay. But there's, I've always been the kind, kind of guy who's just been, you know, backseat, you know. Backseat? I'm so effective, what you, you know, like to be effective from being from in the backseat, from behind, you know. So what um, took you into music production? What took me into music production was, um, I went to a session with a cousin of mine once, and then I was just a drummer. I was playing drums in ah. church, you know, playing for praise and worship. Okay. I was that kid fighting the other kid to get on the drums. <laughs> okay. And I saw the elements that it took in the studio, mm -hmm. you know, from nothing to the finished product. And when I saw that, I was amazed by so it. So when you say nothing to the finished product, you mean not just uh, piano? Right. But then the different elements to create the story through the music, you know, and it's the difference between being a beat maker mm -hmm. and a producer because go ahead. No, no, <laughs> I'm looking at them telling me the time. I'm like, already, we just got to start it. Okay. So wait a minute. You said it's different than being a beat maker. Absolutely. Tell the audience a little bit about that, okay. because people think that because you can produce that you know, there are people that just do a beat, boom, 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 mm -hmm. boom, with one string line or one piano line, and they think that's production. But tell our listeners the difference. Well, I would say from my standpoint of production, what I've learned over the years that I've been involved in music production, um, I started off as a beat maker, I will say that. And production basically is you taking an artist's, an artist's um, vision and you bring it to life. It, that includes vocal arranging, helping there, engineering, um, the mixing process, being involved in all of that um, from the start to from start to finish, and it, it's really nothing like that process. It just. So did you start with? Play, I heard you say you started with playing drums. Mm -hmm. So then, how did you get into playing piano? And did you have lessons? And uh, uh, or did you, was it just naturally uh, well, a gift? I would say. What made me stop playing drums, there was too many. Too many start, drummers. <laughs> too many drummers in my age group coming up, you know, okay. as a kid. And I was like, I got to find something else. So, you know, through making beats, I found this love for playing the piano. My dad plays. Oh. You know, I have a lot of people in my family who plays. My grandmother plays. So, so wait so, a minute. Your grandma plays. Your dad plays. I heard you say your dad, and mm -hmm. I know that you are a PK. Absolutely. PK means a preacher's kid. So your dad's a pastor. Yes, ma'am. So throughout your life, what made you go into music production and not ministry and church or some other area? Well, I wouldn't say that I haven't gone into that realm because ministry for me is number one. It's my number one priority before everything, and I think that the doors of production have opened through me being faithful and diligent in ministry. So wait, stop right there because there's so many questions. 
being faithful in ministry. You just said it. You have to be faithful in something for God to bless you. Absolutely. Tell somebody who may need encouragement or need to be, need to hear that they need to be faithful, even though they did not get that thing that they've been praying for yet. Tell them what God placed on the inside of you that may encourage them. Well, I would say this firstly. Latency is never denial. You always have a chance to catch up to what God has for you in ministry. Um, if you put God first, pay your tithes. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> like, that's the number one thing that will open up the doors of heaven for you. Mm. Like, limitless blessings. And I've seen it for myself. There's been times when I didn't pay my tithes, and I've seen the effects of that. And so, for those of you who don't know what tithes are, who might be somewhere in the Middle East listening, that's a 10% of, uh, of what God blesses you with. He's basically saying, sow a seed of 10% of what God has blessed you with back into the kingdom of God, and it will just keep coming and coming absolutely. and coming. So go ahead, continue. Absolutely. Um, well, I'll just say, you know, put God first in everything that you do, and um, you can't go wrong with that. You can't go wrong. Try him for yourself and see what he'll do for you. Amen. So tell us about production, a little bit more about your producing. Mm -hmm. Who is maybe one of your favorite artists that you have produced that, I know your wife is number one, so we, we get that, we get that out the way, that's it. Absolutely. But I know that you've worked with several artists, and you could get me out of the way too, so you know. <laughs> but tell me about some artists that you've worked with that, even choirs that have really just blessed you that you would like to talk about. Um, honestly, I've produced and have written with industry artists all over the world, all over the city, and it's nothing like in working with indie artists. I love indie music. Indie artists meaning people who don't have the big record deals, exactly. but they're the smaller uh, people. Right, okay. artists who aren't signed to these major labels. Um, I would have to say um, my number one is this worship leader that I've played for for almost 13 years. His name is William Johnson. Um, William Johnson. I have William to have John him. W William Edward Johnson. Um, I've been working with him for years and just the chemistry has been, you know, undeniable for years. You know, sure. a lot of the ministry traits that I have in music ministry, um, besides the things that I have gathered from my father, you know, being sure. such an incredible praise and worship leader, learning things from him. Um, if people want mm -hmm. to, to, to hear more of your production or be even produced by you, how can they get in touch with you? Um, I'm on SoundCloud at SoundCloud.com. SoundCloud.com slash. SoundCloud.com slash Eric L. King Jr. slash. You'll be able to find all my music and all my information there. So if he if he does produce something for you, just remember to give something back to this TV show. Absolutely. You get a discount from him for for having him produce you. Absolutely. I I'm just joking. You I'm just me. joking. <laughs> Well, I want to have your wife come and just uh -huh. talk for a little while, too. So come on, Absolutely. Lynn. Um, I, <laughs> show so I mean <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing how many years have you been married it'll be eight years October eight then. years so you guys are still newly newlyweds kind of yeah. kind of newlyweds. Feels like it. it feels like it Absolutely. oh some brownie points today that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> so listen Lynn how do you feel about working with your husband as a producer opposed to other producers that you've worked with um <laughs> it, it's different it's different. Because um, I'm kind of shy around him because he's produced so many great artists. Mm -hmm. I kind of was in a shell like, oh my gosh, what is he going to think of how I sound? Am I going to be professional enough? Um, but he made my um, experience in the studio with him pretty exciting. Really? It brought different things out of me that I didn't know was in What's there. the hardest part about going behind the microphone and he being at the board and, and telling you what to do. What is the hardest part uh, in dealing with that? Um, I wouldn't say there isn't any hard part. Oh, she said she hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, right word, right answer. <laughs> That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So you guys both work in ministry. Yeah. 
And where do you guys, where can we find you ministering now? The name of the church is what church? Um, well, I'm at um, New Light Christian Church in Houston, Texas. Okay. Um, under the leadership of Bishop Ivy Hilliard. Oh, yes. We all know him. He's a big, big uh, pastor. Absolutely. Awesome ministry. Absolutely. Prosperous ministry. Yes, ma'am. Um, and are you there? Are you singing on their praise team? I was. Not currently. She's, she's oh, on not a, currently. I would say she's on a sabbatical. I'm okay, a sabbatical. She, okay, she's in trouble. She, wanted to, she just wanted to take a break. That's all. Wow. I know what that's like. I, I definitely know what that's Absolutely. like. <laughs> So what is the next step for you as a producer? What do you expect to do? Do you only produce gospel music? And what do you think about some of the music of today, opposed to even when you were first coming up and like you said, your dad plays piano. What do you think about the music today and what's next on the list for you? Um, well, I would say what I think about music today, um, I think it's evolved a lot from musical artists like Michael Jackson. Mm. Um, you think it's evolved? Absolutely. Since. I think it's evolved and it's changed. Um, I would say it's making a full circle back back around. You know, so I, you think I, I believe real music is coming back, you know, with the artists because you have, have now and not to down anybody, you have the trap music, which is, you know, this it had trap had, music is like for rappers, yeah. not singers. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, but you've got all of these gospel artists, even gospel artists trying to tap into that, you know, that sure. realm just to you well, know. I think a lot of people, they want to be in the fad because they want to be relevant. They want to be hip. Absolutely. But sometimes they have to realize that beautiful music. I've been just listening to so much music mm -hmm. from, uh, especially in the Middle East, and the different sounds from the tone back to the tar to the sharangues, all these instruments right. that um, we as Americans, we've never heard. And they are simply amazing. But we get so caught up in just a beat. Exactly. So do you think that we're, it's changing in a way that will become more musically as far as strings, et cetera? Um, I feel like this. I feel like the world has experienced both sides of music. We've experienced the musical side and we've experienced the dumbed down side. Okay. Now that the world has heard the dumbed down side, for music to take a complete circle, I think they'll be able to appreciate it more. Sure. You know, because you have people who like to listen. You yeah. know, for musical arrangements, you know? That and might be to, me. <laughs> I really do, absolutely. and because I have a different kind of voice, um, I'm always looking for high-pitched things and different kind of tones mm -hmm. to compliment. So absolutely. we have to get on that Definitely. ASAP. Is that a promise? Absolutely. Will you come back again? Absolutely. Well, I'll we want to hear your wife again. Did you produce this song she's getting ready to sing? Yes, I did. Okay, so listen, we are in for a treat before we're out of time. And just clap your hands. And for more, <laughs> for more information, once again, her artist's name is Viv LaVie, and she is on fire. You can find her on uh, Instagram, on uh, Facebook, iTunes, uh, Viv LaVie. Viv LaVie? Yep. Viv LaVie. I love that. This is Viv LaVie. Standing here in awe of you, face to face in this dry and thirsty land. And there's nothing to sustain me but you, oh God. So I lift my hands and I lift my voice to declare.
watching Looks Like Destiny. And join us on next week for an awesome show. Just know that you are free through Christ Jesus. You are free. Join us here again next week where we have so many wonderful treats for you. And during the course of, of the week, just praise him and know that you can do all things through Christ who what? Christ who what? You're watching looks like destiny. Come on, clap your hands.